We must be in Canada because it's chilly out. It's cold. I had to turn on my bunk heater last night. Crazy, it's still August. Anyways, it was cold. I broke out the sweater because it's actually seriously cold. It's, oh, this truck says the wrong temperature because I'm just sitting still. But I gotta go into the receiving office over there and let them know I'm here. So I better get going. I don't have much time to talk. I'll talk to you after. It's cold. Oh, good stretching. Stretching is good. Stretching is, I'm hungry. Diesel, are you hungry? Oh, you just ate. Good boy, you're eating and drinking. Good boy. So I'm gonna go over there to the Husky real quick and grab something for breakfast. And then we're headed up to Cold Lake, Alberta, which is 156 kilometers away, about 90 miles. And then from Cold Lake, we're going to Meadow Lake. There's a lot of lakes around here. Meadow Lake. And then we're uh, gonna load up there. Here we go, we're on the way. Up to Cold Lake. I don't think they could make this bridge any narrower, but uh, they tried, so it's all right. I've seen worse. It's always fun going over these kind of bridges. What is this? Oh, we got some serious rattling happening here. That is not okay. Where are you? What is rattling? Oh yeah, now you're hiding. I will find you. Most annoying thing in the world, there's always something rattling in the truck and you can never find out where it is. Because it doesn't rattle when you're stopped, right? You can't really search for it when you're driving unless you got like a partner with you, like Jade and John, they're lucky. One person can drive, one person can hunt down the rattle. But all you drivers out there, you know about the rattle. Every truck's got a rattle, and every truck has got a different rattle. So it's not like you can collaborate and all fix it together. No, no. Frog Lake. This is the town. They put a stop sign here so you wouldn't miss it. Impressive. So we just delivered here in Cold Lake. I ran across, uh, ran across this guy. That art? I don't know. It's interesting. There's a friend for diesel here though. Look at this, this is all made out of like little tiny steel pieces. That is actually art, I guess. That must have taken a long time to do that. Just right. That's amazing. Oh, there good sir. You're a lot bigger and up close than I thought you were. And you have some cake for me. Interesting, oh, it's a mouse. It looks like a mouse and it's gonna eat the cheese. And that's an elephant man. Things you see when you're traveling around. Diesel, what do you think of that? That wasn't a dog, sorry. I thought that would be your friend there, but that was a, a mouse trying to get the cheese. Interesting stuff up here in Cold Lake. It's actually a very big city. It's way up here and there's an Air Force base right on like the other side of those trees over there. So Air Force, Canadian Air Force are just flying around with their fighter jets. It's actually pretty cool. All right, Diesel. This is our handy dandy leash for this trip till we go home. You ready for this? Excuse me, let me put this on you, man. I'm not even pointing the camera at the right spot, am I? Ah, you suck at this vlogging thing, man. You should give me the camera. Or what if you had thumbs, man? Okay, one second, Diesel. Check to make sure the coast is clear. Look, there's a Timmy's over there. Timmy's. Timmy's. There's a big open field here in Cold Lake that we're gonna let Diesel Stretch his legs on if he gets whatever's in his nose out of there. You done, bud? Done sneezing? He need to be groomed, man. All right, you want to go for a run, bud? You want to run around in this long grass? I know you do. Here, come here. Got to unhook you first. All right. Give her, buddy. Give her. Have fun. Oh, he's giving her. Straight down the path. Don't go too far, man. <laughs> Can you see him? He's like frolicking. Da 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 da. <laughs> he's just ding ding ding. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Oh, 
like these small places, middle of nowhere. Plus, there's a Walmart right there, and a Timmy's right there. And if I'm feeling really classy, it's a Boston Pizza right across the street. What else does a guy need? Hey, Diesel! Diesel, hey! Come on, man. Go on the grass. Stay out of the mud. Okay, man. <laughs> that looks so funny. He's trying to jump over the grass. Come on, bud. Come here. Here he comes. <laughs> you get lost, bud? Come here. Oh, he's got to take care of business first. All right. Well, that's why we're out here, so might as well do it. So I'm just watching everyone's vlogger fair videos of everyone who vlogged. There's way more people vlogging there than I thought were vlogging there. Oh man, I've spent two days trying to catch up with all the vlogs. There's a lot of you out there. How many of you are watching my videos that met me at vlogger fair or know me through vlogger fair? How many of you heard of Trucker Josh and Diesel through vlogger fair or because of it? I just asked the same question twice, just in case you didn't understand it the first time I said it. I'm just curious, leave me a comment below if that's how you found out about me. I see his ears out there. He's he's hanging out in the grass there. Yeah, I'm just curious. I'm curious. I ask the audience every you know every couple of weeks just you know where they where they found out about me for all the new subscribers just so that I know like where all these new people are coming from because it's it's growing. I'm just wondering why. Diesel, stay out of the mud, man. Grass, grass. <laughs> Don't go too far, bud. Come on. So for those of you new people, this is what I do. I wander around the continent, all of Canada and the United States, in this. This is my truck and these are my new tires. Meet my new tires. Oh, aren't they beautiful? I'm kind of in love with my tires. But uh, yeah, anywhere a road goes, we go. So that's what our vlogs are all about, just wandering around. Me and my dog, just us. Come on, bud, get in there. So yeah, a lot of people vlog with their family. A lot of people vlog. Uh, most vloggers are with their families actually, or their girlfriends or or whatever. So this vlog's a little different. We just travel, that's what we do. Man and his dog on the road. That's what they're all about. Okay, let's go get our Timmy's and then let's get out of here. We gotta go pick up our load. <laughs> Saskatchewan, what are you doing here? This is another unique way of fixing the road. <laughs> Whatever, at least they're getting it done, right? Fixing the road in Saskatchewan. That's how they do it here. That's how they do it. This is a major road, by the way. This is a major provincial road. Uh, highway 55. That's right, this is a highway. I don't know which side of this highway I'm supposed to be on right now, but they let one direction go through and then they let the other direction go through, right? So there's not going to be any oncoming traffic. And it's just a cloud of dust behind me. There's a dust storm. Looks like we got to get over to the right. People ahead of me are doing. Welcome to Canada, by the way. This is Canada. True North strong and free. Where I'm from. Proud to be from here. Our roads may not be as fancy, but they do the job. We're not stuck. Now, what is this? Dude, you're in the middle of the road. That's a soft shoulder. I don't want to go around you on that shoulder. Alright, okay. Well, other people are doing it. This is, uh, 
very, very unique way of fixing a road. Very unique. Eesh, that is a soft shoulder right to my right there. Woo. Okay. I'm gonna sneak through here, I guess. gets better. Not bad. At least the potholes aren't as bad here. It's kind of smooth. Good thing I got these big tires on here right now with those deep threads. Didn't know I'd have to go off-roading today. Exciting, you know, something different at least. Look, there's a big hole over there on the right. They're digging a hole for some reason. You know, why not? I like digging holes too. Diesel loves digging holes. There's a big hole for you, Diesel. He's all like, What? What? Not cow diesel, hole. Oh, we're back on the pavement. I didn't even notice. All right, well, after that little uh, fiasco or whatever you want to call it, I'm going to do a walk around in my truck to make sure that that construction didn't damage it. Hashtag not impressed. So I get it on film right away. So. Tires, you guys performed great. That's not an air leak. My suspension's just adjusting itself. If you're worried about your truck being damaged by some kind of road work, uh, that you think was inappropriate, uh, inappropriate road work, <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, check right away before you go too far, otherwise you can't prove that it didn't happen between there and your next place where you actually did stop, right? So Make sure that there's no nails in the tires, you can't hear any leaks coming out of the tires. In the construction zone like that, it, it, they look pretty careless. Uh, you never know, they could be leaving all kinds of stuff lying around in there, right? And it's. <laughs> I don't know who to call into to complain about that, but I'm probably just gonna keep my mouth shut and just shake my head and walk away, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna... They're all still inflated, and I don't hear any air leaking. It's hard to tell in the front because my suspension's still adjusting. I should probably check to make sure... Double check everything. Oh, my tires are all dirty now, of course. You hear that air leak here? It's not actually an air leak, it's my suspension adjusting, but it should have adjusted. Sometimes it takes a little while. Uh, that I'm gonna keep an eye on though. Make sure there's no nails in the tires. All right, well, everything seems to be in order. My tires are just a bit dirty. I'm going through the mud, but the truck's dirty anyway, so I don't really care about that. I'm just glad that nothing's broken, that I didn't pick up any nails as far as I could tell. Sometimes you can't tell till later, right? So yeah, I guess the lesson I'm trying to give here is if you think that there was some damage done to your truck from a road that you drove on, that wouldn't have been your fault, check it out as soon as you can so that you can pinpoint exactly where it came from, right? Diesel, what did you think of that mess back there? Oh, I don't care, man. It was fine, man. It's like off-roading. <laughs> it was kind of cool. <laughs> it was kind of fun going off-roading and testing my new tires out, so... All right, let's get going here. All right, we're gonna pull back onto the road here. Nobody coming, we're gonna put our four ways on so that if somebody does come, that they know we're moving slow for now. So yeah, there was no damage that I could see. Uh, the road wasn't that, that bad. I really wasn't expecting there to be damage. I just wanted to be sure. My truck is a highway truck. It's designed to be on paved roads or roads that are well-maintained. When I take it off-roading like that, I want to check to make sure that it's all right. Like if I wanted to do driving like that, I, like I would have been a log truck driver, right? But oh, there's a bug in here. A mosquito, how dare you? Hey, you're full of blood. You thief. I got him, I got him people. Mosquito down. One less mosquito in this world. You can thank me later. 
we're here. I feel really close to you guys right now. Getting our load. Gonna be loaded up heavy, and we're taking this to Manitoba. That's where this load is going. So I'm probably going right through with it because I'm gonna be going right past the destination on the way to the yard. So really highly doubt they're gonna get me to go to the yard. But, oh wait, tomorrow's Friday, right? Friday, I might get there. Depends if they're open on Saturday because I don't think I'll get there in time for business hours tomorrow. We'll find that out tomorrow. <laughs> Excuse me. Spit went down the wrong tube. Has that ever happened to you guys? Just choke for no reason. You know, just sitting there, everything's perfectly fine. Quiet, nothing's going on. All of a sudden, <laughs> choking yourself. Or does that just happen to me? It might just be me. I don't know. I'm a strange person. But being normal's not fun. Not at all. Everybody's normal. Who wants to be like everybody else? Unless you look at it this way, everybody's strange in their own way. No one is completely, perfectly normal. We all have our strange traits and we're all weirdos on the inside. Or is it just me? Maybe I'm just saying that to make myself feel better. You're a weirdo and you know it. You know it. We all are. I really don't know why I turned the camera on just now. I don't really have anything to say to you guys. I was just hanging out, waiting to get this stuff on me in my trailer so I can lock the doors and go home. Did you guys know this? I've been thinking about this. I guess I gotta tell you what this is first before you can think about it, eh? This is the last time I'm ever going home to the house I'm living in now. This is my last time ever going home to that house. Next time I go home, I'm going home to my new house. Isn't that exciting? Are you excited? Be excited. Why aren't you excited? You should be excited. Oh, I love driving out of the sunset. <laughs> I love it when the sun's setting behind me. I don't like it when my truck is rattling. I hope it wasn't rattling through every clip today. Oh, it probably was. Dang it. So we are in Green Lake. Every town is called something lake out here. Meadow Lake, Cold Lake, Green Lake, this lake, that lake. Oh, but the town ahead is called Big River. Pardon me. There are some river towns too. Well, time to throw in the towel for the day, right, Diesel? Been an exciting day again. Guess I can put these fancy safety glasses away. But first, let's close this video off with them. Just in case, you never know. Better safe than sorry. If I can get them on straight, that would work perfect. There we go. Better safe than sorry. We're gonna end this day on a safe note. Okay guys, we are in Melford, Saskatchewan. This is where we're going to sleep tonight. Uh, there is no truck stops anywhere near here. We are in the middle of nowhere. Just past the middle of nowhere. Once again, like usual when we're in Western Canada. We're on the... In a parking lane. On the road there. And we're just shutting down for the night. And I'm going to edit up the video and go to sleep. As you can tell, I'm pretty tired. I'm wearing safety glasses. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to be back on this channel tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time, for any of you who want to join me for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to make it home, and remember, this is the last time we're ever going home to this house. Because we're moving. Hey, Diesel. You ready? I'm tired, man. I can't even talk. I can't even think straight. Hey, guys. See you tomorrow.